Welcome to the DeFi Standard, and this is Mickey B. Fresh. Redefining DeFi, the power of the XRPL's automated market maker, by the DLT Science Foundation, December 22nd, 2023, in the rapidly evolving world of decentralized finance, DeFi, staying ahead of technological advances is crucial, and our latest blog delves into a groundbreaking development, the automated market maker AMM on the XRP ledger. Unlike traditional AMMs in DeFi, which operate based on smart contracts, the XRPLs, AMM is integrated directly at the ledger's consensus layer and protocol level. This approach promises to revolutionize the DeFi landscape by offering enhanced transaction speed due to native integration, reduced operational cost, making DeFi more accessible, and greater efficiency through innovative liquidity pool management. The comprehensive recent study, Automated Market Maker on the XRP Ledger, was conducted by experts in a comparison to Uniswap V2, and this included the continuous auction mechanism, which is the novel feature on the XRP XLS 30D amendment proposal for the AMM and the results are profound and you could see what they produce all the data points and compare the different metrics which we're going to go over now but who conducted the study experts from the University College of London DLT Science Foundation Nanyan Technology University, along with Ripple Labs. Now, Paul Tosca was, is on the Hedaric Governing Council. He co-founded Quant, I believe. He's deeply embedded in the not just the academic side, but the blockchain industry. Ji Ha Zhu runs one of the largest blockchain research programs at University College of London. And then we had another PhD in there. So this comparative analysis with established AMMs like Uniswap demonstrated improvements in slippage reduction, price synchronization, and overall efficiency in the introduction of a continuous auction mechanism optimizing arbitrage and price alignments with external markets. The XRPLs, AMM, will have profound implications for the future of DeFi. This is not Ripple promoting this. This is an independent, based on data results. Like, they could only test so much, but there's a full GitHub repository that's public, I think every UNL validator should read this and read the GitHub repository and see that this is not groundbreaking just for the XRP ledger, but for DeFi in general, because it proves what David Swartz and, and Chalam Alhotra, head of research who helped design this, were spot on. The continuous auction mechanism not only obliterates impermanent loss, which is a faulty metric. But as volatility increases, LP returns significantly skyrocket. Over 170% in the XRPL's AMM implementation at the consensus and protocol layer is not just a technical enhancement. It represents a significant step forward in the DeFi domain, offering a highly efficient alternative to existing AMMs and paving the way for more innovative, inclusive 
Financial Solutions. And then they wrote a blog post by DSF researcher Walter J. Hernandez to understand how the XRPL AMM is setting new standards in DeFi and what it means for the future of blockchain technology. So this is a great precursor before you read the report because it goes in on what the specifics are, what the comparison is, and we're going to run through that next. And you could also check out DLT Science's website, which is phenomenal and has a ton of resources about cutting edge new research in this rapidly evolving space. The new blog, Insights into the XRPL's AMM, offers an exploration into the AMM on the XRPL, and this piece presents a powerful analysis of its unique integration at the consensus layer. Some of the highlights are the XRPL's AMM stands out because of its integration at the core. This is a significant shift from traditional DeFi models and the potential enhancements in transaction speed and operational efficiency. Inclusive research collaboration from renowned institutions. An evaluation of the XRP Ledger AMM. This is a precursor to the research report, which we will go more in depth in a deep dive on in the next video. But this video is going to lay out what the evaluation is about. And they talk about how the XRP Ledger AMM design is redefining DeFi through its novel continuous auction mechanism. And that mechanism is novel and never been used by anybody else before. And in this report, it demonstrates the impact that it has because they do the tests with using it, without using it, and then against Uniswap. And you can see the significant difference in the liquidity provider returns. Like this is so monumental because it's not just about providing liquidity for more ODL to flow through and trading volume. Like, yes, that's good, but it's about giving everyone who holds XRP or stable coins or other assets the ability to earn yield and to earn it in a natural way through the services provided by the network's protocols. The value being created is paid by the actual users who are in demand of liquidity and looking to swap between assets. That will be abstracted and abstracted away into all different applications in the future. So what is an automated market maker? An AMM is a decentralized mechanism that allows digital assets to be traded automatically using liquidity pools rather than a traditional market of buyers and sellers. In most existing DeFi platforms, AMMs are implemented as smart contracts on blockchains like Ethereum. These smart contracts hold liquidity pools of two or more tokens and set prices according to a mathematical formula. In contrast, the proposed AMM on the XRPL will be integrated directly at the ledger's consensus layer and protocol level, promising higher efficiency, lower costs, taking advantage of native transaction speed. This consensus layer and protocol level implementation on the XRPL distinguishes it from the smart contract based AMMs by potentially offering faster transactions, reduced fees, which is particularly beneficial for DeFi applications. It also does one other thing that they don't bring up in here. It makes the liquidity pool token 
the pool share that you receive after you deposit liquidity into the AMM, trustless and guaranteed redeemable because the actual XRP ledger is guaranteeing its redemption. And that's different than a smart contract or DAP, where another DAP has to then trust that smart contract or that DAP if they're gonna allow that LP token to be used, say, as collateral in their lending protocol. So with the XRP ledger, it will all be unified, just like the liquidity will be unified, so will the collateral. And that opens, and collateral is very important because that's used in derivatives, it's used in borrowing and lending, and that opens up multiple markets. And we are tokenizing the liquidity. That's what the LP token is, tokenizing the liquidity. You could use it as collateral, and it has more value because it could be automatically liquidated because it's transparently on the blockchain and a smart contract could just liquidate it. Therefore, there's no counterparty risk to the lender and we remove that counterparty risk. This is the beginning. At some point, you increase liquidity and in the Larry Fick definition, I can now have an asset through this tokenization process that I can use as a transaction, but as a collateral as well. So if I can use something as collateral, I increase its value. It's huge. On a scale of one to 10, we're at two. Uh, so it's way too early to call winners and losers to be dogmatic about anything. Bitcoin is going to the moon and Ethereum isn't. Uh, it's way, or uh, whether KKR is gonna win or BlackRock is gonna win, whatever their tokenization process is. Way too early. Even with these ETFs that are coming out now, you don't think BlackRock has plans to use those tokenized form? Absolutely. We need to start looking forward and not backward. And on-chain finance, if you saw Crypto's Eddie's interview, it was phenomenal with the head of RippleX products. She talks all about on-chain finance and they're making a major push for real world asset tokenization on the XRP ledger. Even if it doesn't use XRP, it's going to create an ecosystem and bring new stakeholders, new participants, and bring credibility and value to the XRP ledger and its surrounding sidechains. That is what we're trying to do here. And the recent announcement at Swell that went under the radar, some people thought there was a dud, uh, it was the biggest announcement at any swell. Sorry. It's going to have the biggest impact of any announcement. People just don't realize it yet. But the integration of RippleNet's products to tap into the liquidity source of the XRP ledger is the single biggest thing. Like for me personally researching this for five years and really last two years digging into the AMM, that was always logically what was going to happen. And they confirmed that, David Swartz, a couple months ago. And their executives have hinted at it and said it multiple times over the past three years or more that the decentralized exchange was where liquidity hub, where ODL are going to flow through. And now crypto payments, whatever that is, there's going to be a sandbox they're creating. AMMs at the consensus layer and protocol layer versus smart contract AMMs. The research titled Automated Market Maker on the XRP Ledger by Faraz Dai, Walter Hernandez, Yebo Fang, Jia Lu, Anchalar Malahotra, and Paulo Tosca from the University College of London, DLT Science Foundation, Nanye Technology University, and Ripple Labs compares XRPL's AMM's performance with established AMM's like Uniswap, demonstrating XRPL's AMM potential for greater efficiency in various areas, including slippage reduction, price synchronization, speed, and operational efficiency. These results seem to originate from the XRPL AMM's implementation at the consensus layer and protocol level, which may allow it to leverage the XRPL's efficient transaction capabilities. But then, Additionally, from the testing results, the XRPL AMM seems to benefit 
from the introducing a continuous auction mechanism to encourage arbitrage for better price synchronization with external markets. There's a couple of things that are unique about this AMM. So there's one or two things that are unique about its design, and there's one or two things that are unique about it that just happen automatically, sort of as a free bonus from the fact that it's on the XRP ledger, which has advantages. So the specific things built into this design is it has the continuous auction mechanism to take some of the profit that arbitragers would get and give that to the liquidity providers. So the hope is this will provide an unusually good deal for the liquidity providers. I hear my granddaughter yelling in the background. Um, and and the, other, the other thing is because it's on the XRP ledger, the XRP ledger is very fast, you know, a couple of seconds per ledger and very cheap. And those things um, produce advantages in the function of an AMM. If it's very expensive to trade with the AMM, then people are going to be reluctant to trade because if it costs you $10 to make a trade, you're not going to make a trade that makes you $9. And so the AMM loses opportunities because of transaction fees. Because the XRP ledger is so fast and cheap, we expect that the AMMs will have much more opportunities to trade. And I'm super excited to see the actual practice prove that these things are right. Because obviously, it's one thing to see things in theory, and it's another thing to see them actually happening. And so I'm, I'm very excited to see reality prove out all of these sort of theoretical benefits. Considering the lack of existing AMMs implemented at the consensus layer and protocol level, the XRPL AMM contributes to the growing DeFi field by offering a potentially efficient alternative to current AMMs. Moreover, the work of Fari Staris, Walter Hernandez, Yaba Fang, Jiha Zhu, and Chalamal Hultra, and Paulo Tosca. And Paulo Tosca is one of the co-founders of Quant and is on the Hedera Governance Council may represent, and he also wrote multiple chapters in the Enabling the Internet of Value book and then the Enterprise Internet of Value uh, report, may represent inaugural research in testing and comparing consensus layer and protocol level AMMs while encouraging further research in the XRPL-based DeFi ecosystem. So this is exactly what we need. Right now, as it stands, XRPL is not even on DeFi Llama. It's not even on Token Terminal. It's non-existent. So this is a reality check, you know, for the community. Like, we don't have a DeFi ecosystem. Everyone else does. We don't have utility of the token on the ledger that drives yield. Every other network almost does at least in the top 10 besides Bitcoin. And that's a problem. So this is going to provide that native, permissionless, open, accessible, decentralized, non-custodial way for anyone to use XRP and other issued tokens to earn yield in a low risk manner on the XRP ledger. So who is Walter Hernandez? With over five years experience in the data science, business analytics, and distributed systems, he's passionate about exploring the intersection of DLT, AI, and natural language processing. I'm currently a research fellow at the DLT Science Foundation, where I work on cutting edge research topics and projects. So yeah. I'm Mickey B. Fresh, and I'm out. So I was always of the mind that this system was going to be ripe for some kind of a disruption. Mm. And when I saw DeFi, I started to see where that disruption was going to come from. And I started to understand that this is going to be where it go. And what I've tried to tell people is what you need to understand about this new DeFi system is it will start in the third world and it will grow from there in the second world, third world, and then it will come here and completely flatten you. In the United States, I don't see us in any way being the leader in this. Oh, I, think, I think we are going to, it's going to be rammed down our throat is what it's going to be.
And it just occurred to me that this is a brand new financial system mm -hmm. and that this is going to replace the current C5 financial system.